Hi, I'm Yu Fong. Welcome to my channel, KL Properties with Yu Fong. So the hottest topic right now in Malaysia is the Malaysia's Madani Budget 2024 announced by our Prime Minister on last Friday, 13 October. The theme of this budget is empowering the people. With that said, this is the largest budget ever tabled in the history of Malaysia. 393.8 billion. Phew. So obviously, in order for our government to fulfill its fiscal duties, it's inevitable that a number of structural changes will be introduced in the upcoming tax system in 2024. Basically, there are two key aspects that can directly impact the property buyers and sellers. Number one, review of the stamp duty to a flat rate of 4% for foreign buyers. Two, increase of service tax from 6 to 8%. But before we discuss all that, please press the subscribe button for the latest news and videos on Monkiara properties. Now let's discuss the two key aspects. Number one, review of stamp duty on the memorandum of transfer to a flat rate of 4% for foreign buyers and foreign companies. So what does this mean? Who is this going to be affected and when will all this take effect? Well, this is basically a cost increase for foreign buyers and foreign companies when purchasing a property. In Malaysia, in order to transfer the property title to the new buyer, it is the buyer's responsibility to pay a stamp duty to effect the transfer. Currently, the amount charged is calculated on the ad valorem multi-tiered system based on the SPA value. But in budget 2024, they now propose to change this multi-tiered system into a flat rate of 4% based on the SPA value for foreigners and foreign companies. Well, good news is Malaysians and PRs are not affected by this. All right, now let's take a look at how much more a foreign buyer will have to pay for stamp duty because of this increase. Let's use a 1 million ringgit property as an example. I'll give you a comparison between the current multi-tiered system versus the new proposed flat rate of 4%. Let's start with the current multi-tiered system first. So using SPA price of 1 million ringgit, first 100,000 will be taxed at 1%. That's 1,000 ringgit. Next, 101,000 to 500,000 ringgit will be taxed at 2%. That's 8,000 ringgit. Next, 501,000 to 1 million ringgit will be taxed at 3%. That's 15,000 ringgit. And over 1 million ringgit, taxed at 4%. So in this case, since the property is only 1 million ringgit, this will not be required. Total here is 24,000 ringgit for stamp duty on MOT. Now let's compare it to the proposed flat rate of 4% using the SPA value of 1 million ringgit multiplied by 4%, that is 40,000 ringgit. So the proposed stamp duty is 40,000 ringgit versus the current multi tier stamp duty, which is 24,000 ringgit. So that is a difference of 16,000 ringgit of cost increase. So if you are a foreigner and have eyes on a certain property that you are interested to buy, it's time to act now. As this new proposed tax rate system will only be effective starting 1st of January 2024. Point number two, increase in service tax from 6 to 8%. What does this mean? Who is it going to affect? And when will this take effect? Every property owner who appoints a realtor to help sell or rent out their property will need to pay a professional fee to the realtor. And currently, the government taxes the property owner a 6% service tax on the professional fee. And now they are proposing to increase this to 8%. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say a property owner engage a realtor to help sell his 1 million ringgit property. And the realtor managed to sell it at 1 million ringgit. So his professional fee is agreed at 3%. So that's 30,000 ringgit of professional fee. Now this 30,000 ringgit will be taxed at 6%, which is 1,800 ringgit. 
currently. And the proposed increase of service tax to 8% will cost the seller 2,400 ringgit instead. So the difference is 600 ringgit. Not too bad. This proposal is approved in the parliament. This increase to 8% will take effect on 1st of March 2024. That's it. In a nutshell, there are only two key aspects that can directly impact the property buyers and sellers. And honestly, looking at this increase, it is not a huge increase per se that will cost you an arm and a leg or even be a deal breaker. In fact, kudos to the government on plans to revise and build new infrastructure projects to improve connectivity and the plan of easing the requirements of MM2H. I truly believe that this plan of easing the requirements of MM2H will attract back a lot more tourists to our beautiful country. That's it. Let me know your thoughts on this topic in the comment section. Hope you have enjoyed this one. My name is Yu Fong and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.